What's going on everyone? I'm finally back being able to do actual bag reviews because my move is over, my coffee ad that I filmed, go check out that video if you're interested, is over and I am finally sort of settling into the basement of where I'll be temporarily living. So I got a nice nautical theme over here, backdrop. And there was pictures of uh, my partner's like family behind me. So I, I took those down because they're like baby photos and stuff. Um, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We are actually here to talk about, this is the new bag called the Captain from Pursuit Retro. Now, I actually did their original bag way back when, and I was gonna do like a comparison thing, and I still will, but not in this video, just because my stuff that was shipped across the country has not arrived yet. So, but this is a killer bag made from great materials, wonderful hard uh, hardware, has insanely good uh, organization, comfortable, great for people that want to use camera gear or other photography or videography equipment. Also as good as a bigger, kind of larger sized day bag and is super fun to take on hikes. Let's get into it. <laughs> Now again, I just want to say super big thank you for uh, to Pursuit Retro for sending this over to me. I was I was a big fan of their first bag. I really liked it. There were some things that I wish were a little different. The main one actually being the material. So when I saw the Captain and it has this nice rubbery uh, Aqua Guard YKK zip kind of material and hardware and stuff, I was super excited because I think that material is definitely more fitting for a bag that is designed for what this one is meant to do. I'm gonna walk you through all the pockets and organization and everything. I have it kind of loaded out how I would take it if I was going on a photo shoot or going up in the mountains and maybe taking some video and everything. And I'm gonna walk you through all that, but one of the things that I wanted to point out first was the back of this bag. More specifically, this very um, comfortable and what I would almost call a unique back panel, right? So you've got a lot of bags will just do like the air channel in the middle and the foam on the sides. You've got a secret pocket back here. I never ended up really using it. You've got a luggage pass-through strap above that, but you've got two or three technically nice foam panels with a nice like T, upside down T-shaped uh, like air channel going on here. Super comfortable up against my back. Very breathable. One of the things that I did in my move is I had, um, let's see, one, two, like three or four bags that I took with me in my actual car when I drove across the country. The rest of my collection was actually in the pod. So I wanted to keep bags I knew would be useful. So when I was taking videos and filming and I actually went up to uh, upstate New York, this is my backup camera gear. The main bag that I use now for my camera gear is the Mission Workshop Rake, but this had all my other camera gear. That's like my mobile, this is like my home base kind of thing, like my lights and setup and stuff like that. And it was very comfortable. I like this back panel. These straps are minimal with foam, but not too minimal that again, they're so thin that it hurts your shoulders when you're wearing it, but not too beefy that they become kind of cummerbundsome. So overall, the whole harness system and back panel of this bag is a very solid and comfortable rig that you have going on. Then in terms of handles on this bag, you really only have this one, it's kind of like seatbelt material up here at the top. You don't really have anything on this side because that's your quick access into the camera cube, which we'll get into. And then on this side is what is technically your water bottle pocket. And I have, this is my new water bottle. I'm always getting new water bottles. Fits in there nice. You can actually adjust this. So you can make this a little bit bigger. It has um, also the ability to be zip zipped so you can kind of like if you wanted to hide it away make it a little bit more flush with the bag you can or you can unzip it and then undo this strap and you actually can fit some larger water bottles in there if you wanted to on the note of being able to compress you have four or i'm sorry three technically compression straps you have two on this side that can compress and then one more up at the top up here that can compress so if you want to keep the top nice and tight and you also see there's a drawstring on the inside it keeps everything kind of in its place, which is, is pretty nice, especially on a bag like this. You also have um, little strap loops down here for like tripods and stuff, if you wanted to use that. Um, they're not at the bottom of the bag, right? They're like at the front bottom, which is different, right? A lot of bags put that at the bottom, which can be nice in some ways, but in some ways you have your tripod on the bottom and you go to set this bag down, and you have that tripod that's like making it rock and stuff. So I actually liked the idea of having this tripod and like my gorilla pod or even like my light stands like at the front of this bag 
but not on the bottom, right? That was, I think it's a very thoughtful and um, I think it was a really good call on their part to put that here at the front. Also here at the front, you have their logo, which I have to admit is very, I, I like the mount, it's very minimal. Honestly, I would probably, what I would do instead of having this like black rubber thing, I would just etch this logo right into the bag and I think it would look really solid. It almost looks a little weird sticking out like that, but I mean, it's a logo. It's not like a make it or break it kind of thing. On the quick access, right? I'm not, I don't have it set up to where, so you can open this panel, right? We've seen this on a lot of bags, Wanted Provoke, Boundary Supply, Prima, tons of bags have this quick access. Here's the camera cube. You can rig it. There's, um, there's a spot here for extra organization on the door, but you can also fold the camera cube door into this. So when you open this, you have complete access to the camera cube. Sometimes I'll do that. Most of the time, it just depends on the situation. If I know I'm gonna be getting a lot of access to my camera, I'm also at the point now where if I'm getting into my camera, if I'm pulling my camera, I'm putting it up a lot, I'm probably just gonna throw on the neck strap and just carry it with me wherever I go. Because at that point, it's easier than getting in and out. But I do like, especially if you take the camera cube out and depending on how you wanna run this, gym bag, everyday work bag, you have access to a majority of the main compartment. So towels, jackets, things like that are easily accessible. And that's why I like this on bags more so than to get into the camera cube. I like that I have access without having to, especially on a bag like this, we have to unclip two clips, open it up, possibly undo a drawstring. I have access right here. I don't have to go through all those steps that I think are a little bit tedious to get something simple out of the bag. So again, saw this on their original bag that they had. And I am a big fan that they also included on this one. It looks a little bit bigger in my opinion, and also includes this mesh on the outside. So with this though, you'd wanna be careful because if you swung this bag around, right, and you had it in front of you and you went to go open this, whatever you have in here could potentially fall out. So that's one thing you also want to keep in mind. Can I just also say, it's really good to be back filming these. It's been a couple of weeks since I filmed a natural bag review and um, I missed you guys. I missed you guys a lot. Okay, let's talk pockets an organization on this thing. I already went through these straps. Like I said, these are the straps that cinch down the roof of this bag. It's not so much a roll top. It's not so much a flat. It's kind of like a flap top, right? I think flap top, if that's not a, a term, I'm gonna start using it. Where instead of, you know, like I said, instead of being a roll top and stuff, it's just a flap. So you can't, you can definitely get quite a bit out of this if you wanted to. Again, I believe this is like around the 20 to 22 liter. And I think that if you had it fully extended, you'd be somewhere around like the 32 liter. So you probably could get an easy 10 extra liters, five to 10 extra just by doing the flap. But there is two things that you will sacrifice. You'll sacrifice this pocket up front just because of how it bends. You're not gonna be able to put a lot of things that are gonna take up dimension in that pocket. And you'll take up, there's a pocket on the inside up here, which we'll get to in a second. So you do kind of sacrifice both those pockets, but again, Depends on how you run the bag. Depends on what you do. Um, I don't know what that was. So real quick, first things first, you have, this is what I would consider the actual quick access compartment. This does have dimension that goes into the bag. And here I have a mask because you never know. This is also where I would put, I have them out right now, but I'd put things like my AirPod Pros. Those would go in there, possibly my phone, depending on what I'm doing, maybe my wallet, my car keys when I was hiking, those all, went in there and then this front flap right is a little bit different a little bit longer and this is um something i don't have anything in there right now but one of the things that you could put in there is like sd card case battery case um notebooks things like that smaller items sunglasses use them and then you also have on the inside here this is an internal pocket and that's where i put this is, I have two notebooks that I usually carry. This is my one from, uh, what is this? Wayfinder Carry that I did in my EDC video. I love this thing. This is like not a traditional, like a little tiny notebook with no lines. You can do whatever you want kind of thing. It's my idea notebook. I'm working on some projects, help me design a couple of things, hush, hush. Um, so I like to have this with me at all times, but I don't always use it. I don't always need it. So a pocket like this is perfect for kind of like out of sight, out of mind, item that I might want to bring with me. Maybe I'll use it. Maybe I won't. But if I do need it, it's there. So it's perfect for that. You could also, even though there is like the secret compartment on the back of the bag, it's another good spot. You could put like passport and stuff. This is honestly where I'd probably want to put like important documents and stuff because that way it's inside the bag and it's secure and I'm not worried about anyone being able to easily take it. It's a good little internal up on the top flap, which I will say shout out to Pursuit Retro because 
in the bags that I have that have flaps and stuff like this, I've never seen, I've always seen pockets on the front here, but I've never seen a pocket on the inside. So that was a cool, unique thing that I, um, I really, I really digged, dig, 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 dug. Then you also have a larger flap compartment where I've thrown things like my battery charger and a packable towel because this is not as big as you would think but big enough to put some of those smaller maybe quick access kind of easy access items smaller tablets things like that easily fit in there and then like i said you have this drawstring here at the top and at the top here because the last time i used it it's getting that point where it's not quite chilly enough for like a full-fledged jacket but i still like to have like a minimal jacket this is one from western rise their shirt jacket let me just toss that over there Right, and then at the top of this bag, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but what I have in here is like my little GoPro handle for my DJI Osmo Action, extra cable pouch, um, my tech pouch for all my mobile gear. And I think that's about it for the top, right? The thing that's in there now is the camera cube. So little pouches like this fit really nice on top of the camera cube inside of this bag. And I quite dig it a lot that you have again that option and you can see this flap right here that is the um, quick access on the back that i told you about that will eat up dimension on the inside but there is a pocket in here i'm not going to be able to show you with my main camera so i'm gonna try to film the inside where it has just a little bit on the front and that's where i've stuck my battery chargers right here so easy spot to put things that I need. These are my, I'm sorry, I said battery chargers, mm -hmm. extra batteries and um, SD card case. Easily fit right there in that little pocket. Honestly, kind of perfect because they're right there at the top. So if I open this, I can get to them. I don't have to look for them, but they're not taking up too much space. They're not inside a pouch because they fit perfectly in there. So I really like a pocket that'll accommodate an item like that. Okay, now, because it's gonna be easier to show you if I open up, you do have the ability to get full access to this bag. If you lay it down, there is a zipper on the back here that opens all the way around. So you can kind of open a clamshell style, right? And then that is where you get your tablet and laptop sleeve. Very basic, very simple, off the bottom of the bag, solid, nothing crazy. And then inside here, if I can spin this around, you will see this is the main part of the bag, right? So there's actually a flap that will cover this if you want, but that's where the um, camera cube, which I'll show you that in just a second, but this is, so you have a flap here and you have another flap here. There's actually, um, uh, da, 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 da. there's a divider in here somewhere. Oh, right here at the back. So you can actually, if you wanted to, to keep it divided, you could easily do that. And then back here is another pocket right so you got the pocket up top where i put my sd card and battery and then behind the flap there's another compartment like i said for a bag like this their last one one of the things i think it was really lacking was extra organization and instead of overloading with a bunch of pockets to have like little pockets inside i kind of like that they just made some very simple basic a variety of sizes pockets in the bag and was just like here Use it if you need it, and if you don't, it's fine. And honestly, I like the two on the inside. I think they definitely add to it, and I definitely like the extras on the top of the flap. So that is, but that is the main compartment, right? You can easily fit a packing cube in here, by the way, like the Peak Design packing cube. You could even fit the Peak Design and a smaller packing cube, and then like a toiletry kit and a tech pouch if you wanted to use this as a minimal travel bag. I think it totally, totally works for that. And then again, with that full access inside the bag, works really well here's their camera cube right again it's just a very simple basic camera cube but i mean when it comes to something like a camera cube i'm not sure how crazy you really need to get with it i think it's totally fine to make it you know again it doesn't have to be anything crazy it works really well i have my canon m50 couple extra lenses some extra items that i just kind of throw in here and i think it works really well you also have but you know me i'm not a big fan of using them comes with hip straps, right? With little pockets on them, easy to attach. I just personally am not a fan of hip straps. These are pretty solid. Um, they feel comfortable, uh, nothing crazy. I did try them on, but again, just never pack my bags out of this size to really justify having little flappy bits. But I do like that they are easily 
removable. And that is pretty much it when it comes to the Pursuit Retro Captain bag. It also comes in a fancy white color, which I'm... Ugh. So white bags, right? Tan bags, a big fan, but like they always get super dirty for me, especially with what I'm doing. So if you weren't going to take it out on like hikes and stuff, I would shoot for the white. Super solid looking. Love it quite a lot. Very nice bag very well built full of good organization i feel like it works really well as a camera bag it is a little bit similar to other kinds of bags of this nature that we've seen but i do think they've done enough to kind of stand on their own with the extra organization and with some of the different hardware and ideas that they put into it where it does stand out a little bit from some of the competition but overall i think it's a very solid solid bag so if you have any questions comments or concerns about this bag let me know in the comments below and i'll do my best to answer those for you um shoot me an email odmatthewsbags at gmail.com if you'd like to have a chat suggestions lists anything like that you can also support me on patreon i'll link it um, in the description below if you want bonus content extra videos and giveaways things like that it has been slacking the last couple weeks because i've been in the middle of moving and stuff but we're about to get back on track with that huge thank you to my patreon supporters um leave a like subscribe for more nonsense thank you again to pursuit retro for sending this out to me i really appreciate it um it's pretty solid and other than that i will see you next time